Well, some days you have dessert first, That's huh? Right. <laughs> a popular Chinese dish is getting a healthy makeover with summer squash. Yeah, it sounds like a good recipe for folks watching their carbs. Joining us now in the CI Kitchen, Lake Ken, a nutrition and wellness educator for the U of I Extension. So, <laughs> dessert first is always a good idea, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good strategy. <laughs> I'm still collecting myself, but it's, yeah. That's true. You're yeah, training out our nostrils. But well, yeah, we I, did it. We, it was strawberries. So, like you said, it's... You know, it could be worse. It, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> well, now that our nostrils are clean, we can yes. smell what we're making today. Yeah. It's not, it sounds like a delicious recipe. Yeah, we're doing a beef and broccoli, okay, but with veggie noodles. And we're actually going to be using zucchini summer squash, which is very low in calories and carbohydrates for those who are watching that. So it's diabetes yeah. friendly. Yeah. Um, a lot of, you know, diets are kind of carbohydrate restricted. So this is something that can help you get the taste or not exactly the taste but you know kind of the the experience of having noodles without okay. the okay. carb heavy noodles so do we want to do noodles first or do we want to talk the beef let's talk we're making about beef our beef and broccoli right yeah let's talk about oh, our beef really quick incredible mm -hmm. all right yeah. i did a good job yeah. yeah and what i did was i marinated this and let's just make some marinade i've got some more okay. beef here all right so our marinade we've got a little bit of hoisin sauce um one of you please pour in we've got a little bit of orange juice okay Okay, it's a very, very simple marinade. And then a little bit of reduced sodium soy sauce. All right, okay. so we're just gonna kind of whisk that up with the fork. And in this bag here, I've got about a pound of sirloin. Okay, and sirloin, you know, it's a, a leaner cut of steak. Okay. okay. So we're watching the fat, we're doing the reduced sodium, a little bit healthier. So just pour that in. Oh, you, you put it in the bag. Oh, yeah, I think got it all oh, there. It's fine. The There's plenty in Are there. Are you sure? Uh, yes. No, no. But we gotta okay, get it. Okay, she's a perfectionist, so that's fine. <laughs> You've got a tip though to prevent food poisoning. Yeah, What's that? you know, a lot of people will marinate on the counter, and I really um, get worried when people do that because you're really setting yourself up for food poisoning. You know, you're at room temperature; those bacteria right. are gonna be developing. They're kind of multiplying. So just stick this in the refrigerator, okay, for about two hours. You can also do it overnight. You know, the longer you marinate it, the more tender it's gonna right. be. And did you tenderize mm -hmm. it? I mean, did you poke it with a fork or anything special? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. But you could. If, okay. I don't know. I know, some I know some people do that. I didn't know yeah. if that was a thing or it mattered with or this kind of Or you could like dish. pound them thin if you wanted to. Okay. But yeah, good idea. Okay, okay, so once it's marinated, now once it's time marinated, to Yeah, up. we kind of, we put that in our pan. We, um, we kind of just sauteed this on both sides until it's nice and done. I'm just going to take it off the heat so it doesn't overcook. And we'll leave that for now. So let's make some veggie noodles. Ooh, All okay. Alright, this is where we're going to put our spiralizer to work. This is one of my absolute favorite kitchen gadgets. Mine too. I, I hear Heather is a fan. It's yeah, so here, let's fun. Let's swap places, Leah, yeah. so okay. you can show us how it's done. Alright, I love this. I, yeah, I like to say it looks like a torture device, but really it's not that scary. <laughs> I Those promise. Those zucchini need to be nervous. Yes, that's right. Show them who's boss. <laughs> so we kind of take, it's good to use zucchini that have a wider base, and you could use any vegetable, actually. Um, have you experimented with any I don't know. Um, I've done, done zucchini basically in cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Zucchini and then I just cucumbers. mix it up with some pesto and tomatoes and it's you? so good. Yum. You could do yeah. really anything though. And you know, I think I need to use my dominant hand because <laughs> you kind of got to give it a little bit. A little bit of a push. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Yeah. There we go. Well, and I've also noticed that if you kind of have to stop and then snip them off because mm -hmm. otherwise they get really, really long. Yeah, like this is going to be one huge zucchini noodle. It's yeah. crazy. But you can do this if you wanted um, with broccoli, the broccoli stalks that you might throw out. Because really? we, yeah, if you think about it, they're the perfect size and shape for something like this. Hmm. It's going to save you some money. You're going to make the most of the nutrition there. And you're going to use the whole thing. Exactly. You know? I love that. Yes, yes. We're being very economical. There you go. So zucchini, it's, ooh. Yeah, and then you get like this long core that kind of comes out. It's crazy. Just dip that in some ranch. <laughs> you know, you could. You could. Or you could, uh, oh man, I don't know. You could, um, you could just chew it like that. It's good. It's good for you. Fiber. Right. I mean, these are really great. We'll do it for us. <laughs> yeah, Might you can do likes anything. It. Yeah, that's good. Now, do we cook these, or what do you do with them after you've spiraled them? So a little bit later, um, we're going to come back, and we are going to cook these along with some vegetables, some onion, and some spices. But again, you know, this is a great way to cut down on the carbohydrate. You're adding lots of fiber. 
nutrients. So do you cook these zoodles like if you're not going to do it yeah. how we're doing it and you want to make it like spaghetti, uh -huh. would you boil them in water like you would spaghetti, real spaghetti? Mm, probably not. I mean, zucchini has a lot of water by itself and they can tend to get a little bit soggy. So I would either saute them in a pan or you can steam them very quickly. Oh, there you and, go. you know, in a microwave safe bowl, add just a little bit of water and zap for. I don't know, about two minutes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Love this. So Let's stick around. Wait. I can't All wait. Right. And I want to eat this meat. That looks delicious. <laughs> meat. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, we're going to check back with Lily in a few minutes, and you can find this recipe online for dinner tonight. Right now, head over to CILiving.tv. We'll get you connected. Hey, coming up, a first 